Hi, it's Jo from Minerva. Today I have a fabric haul of patterns that all are under one theme and that is the seaside or maritime prints. Maritime prints are great for children's clothes or vintage clothes and they make great summer and spring items too. As ever with a fabric haul or a fabric focus video, I'm going to take you from the simplest patterns through to the more complex patterns, but I'm going to be showing you some fabrics to use for each design. If you are new to sewing, then cotton, 100% cotton, is a great fabric to work with because it's really stable and it doesn't move around. It's easy to cut out and uh, simple to sew. And this one has little anchors and lighthouse and boats on. And it's the perfect fabric for making a simple summer shell top. And I've chosen New Look 6483, which is uh, a, a tank top that's been around for a long time. It's a shell top with uh, darts and it's got different arm shaping. So this one's got a different neckline, a higher neckline. Uh, there's a square neckline and um, this one's got wider shoulders. It's a really great pattern to get started. Shows you, um, shows you how to put in facings and darts. If you would like a maritime top, then this cotton is perfect. Another beginner top that you could try is Tilly and the Buttons Coco. That's a long sleeve t-shirt. You can put um, a neck, funnel neck collar on it or just have it with a scoop neck. This one's uh, shown with stripes, but I've got here the perfect fabric for that pattern, which is a jersey stretch with anchors. It's navy blue and it's 95% cotton and 5% live fra. Comes in two colours. And it would make a perfect short sleeve t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt, little girl's t-shirt dress. It would make as well this fabric. But if you want to just try your hand at your first bit of stretch sewing, then cocoa is perfect. If you're looking for children's wear, then there's a range of seaside prints in poly cottons. This one's uh, got a pink background with fish on. This one is 80% polyester, so it does have a sort of stiffness to it, but a pre-wash will really soften that up. And I'm going to show you one pattern to use with three fabrics now. So any sort of poly cotton. This one's a little boat one. I quite like this one. It's got a sort of um, unisex colour palette. You can make a boy's shirt or a girl's dress. And my final one again is quite unisex, a little boy shirt, summer dungarees or romper for a baby and that's a cotton. These two have got a bit more cotton content so they're a bit softer. The first one is got quite a lot of polyester in it so that one's a little bit stiffer. But all three of them would make Butterick 6201 which is a little girl's dress, it goes from age two right up to eight. So it's a good investment of a pattern. You could be wearing that dress for years if you bought it early doors. And poly cottons work great for that because as your children grow out of them, they're budget fabrics, but then you can buy the next budget fabric to make the next size up. My next fabric is a natural fabric. This is gauze. This is from Rico. And you can probably see it's got that sort of glitter in it, like the waves of the sea really delicate pale blue and I've used this fabric to make a Charlie caftan which you can see here the Charlie caftan um, has got quite a lot of gathers around the waist and the gauze really does gather up well and it's it gives a nice soft gather Another pattern that you can try by Closet Core Patterns with double gauze is the LED wrap dress. You can do this in a full caftan length with wide sleeves, um, shorter sleeves, full length. It has a belt and it's really easy fit. So if you change size a little bit from one summer to the next, 
you can still keep this uh, dress in your wardrobe and this scores would make a perfect match. If you're looking for a summer dress pairing, then this fabric is beautiful. This is a really top quality cotton. This is a cotton poplin, so it's got a real smooth finish, a real subtle red and a navy and blue. I can't quite wear white completely in the summer. I always drop something down it, but this is a really nice way to wear white with that sort of background colour. It's a light to medium weight cotton. It's 55 inches wide and it's a cotton poplin and uh, it would make the most wonderful um, Lyra dress, the short sleeve version, the shorter one. It's shown on the back actually, there we are. That's the shorter version in a more summer dress feel. And this is the ideal cotton poplin. Next up, I've got two fabrics which are interchangeable with each of the patterns. I've got a man's shirt pattern and a lady's shirt pattern. So both fabrics um, for both patterns would work uh, just as well. This one's rather fun. This is a lobster print on a broadcloth. So this is on a very, um, it's not canvas, that would be the wrong word, but you can definitely see the weave in the fabric. It's much finer than canvas. It's 100% cotton and it's 44 inches wide and it does just come in this one colour because it's such an unusual fabric. The print is quite large so make sure that you up for a little bit of pattern matching or just go crazy and just use it. It's such a fun fabric isn't it? And I've chosen the Carly shirt. And I think the shirt dress would work in this as well with some red sandals or red pumps. You can do different options with this. So you can have a button band right down the center. You can have a button placket halfway, which might work well with this fabric because you could keep the lobster prints hole at the bottom or you can do a shorter shirt version. So that's the Carly shirt dress paired with broadcloth. My second shirt fabric is ideal for men's shirts or boys' shirts. And this one's got little boats on with a fine print in the background. This is 100% cotton. This is really good value because this is 57 inches wide, so you get a good width with that. And it would make um, the previous shirt pattern, the Carly shirt dress, but it would also make a lovely man's shirt, M6044. This is a keeper of a pattern. It's got short sleeves, long sleeve shirt, and a shirt with um, little fold down button pockets as well. So you could mix that up. Would also make um, Carolyn pajamas because it's it's a really fine cotton. It's got um, a much lighter feel than the broadcloth. Talking of the Carolyn pyjamas, I've picked a fabric to go with that pattern, which is another cotton. This one comes in four colours. It's a cotton poplin, 100% cotton, but it, it doesn't feel like a budget fabric, but this is in the lower price bracket, but it's lovely and smooth. Uh, it, it's, um, it's as smooth as the last one. It's, it's beautiful and it would work really well for the Carolyn pyjamas, a real go slow sew so that really improves your skills but this would also work for the McCall's gentleman's pattern or indeed for the Cali shirt as a shirt top because it is a little bit transparent for a dress but it's ideal for a top and that's a cotton poplin for the Carolyn pyjamas. If you prefer a dress with a little bit more fitting, then you could try um, McCall's 7714. There's princess seams on that, so you can really get a good fit and you can change the sleeves, the sh little, short sh little short sleeves, or there's um, a sleeveless version. It's got a waistband as well, which helps with, um, 
helps with fitting your waist length so you can see down here there are a lot of different options this pattern works really well with a sateen and I was trying to look for a maritime sateen but actually I found this fabric which is absolutely stunning and this is a cotton poplin but this has got a little bit more body and a little more substance than the last couple of cottons that I've shown you it's close to a sateen because it has a really smooth finish with the bright print on but it doesn't have any stretch in it at all so you would be working on your fitting skills you to use that pattern but it's absolutely lovely look if you just look at it got a beautiful quality to it that would also make the lyra summer dress as well and also men's shirts and ladies shirts and the carly shirt dress so that's a really versatile maritime fabric my next fabric and pattern pairings are for um, someone wishing to move their sewing on so they are to make a jacket this is the wardrobe by me bomber jacket it's got darts for a ladies fit it's got a very large size range it goes from um, a size 0 to 24 there's lots of sizing information on the back so you can find the perfect size and the fabric that I've chosen is one that's um, that I saw on our website inspired by a Minerva maker which is using this fabric which is a cotton canvas it says I love sailing and there's boats and this sort of Horn wave motif running along it and it's been matched with um, a ribbing and um, ribbing cuffs and a ribbing band you will need a lining fabric to go with this so a, um, a lightweight crepe would work or um, a polyester lining because then the sort of drag of the canvas won't drag on your clothes but that would make a perfect uh, bomber jacket. It's also useful for beach bags and holdalls and carryalls and things like that because it's got that sort of stiffness that you'd expect from a canvas. But this one isn't really thick. It's got um, a softer finish than a really thick bag canvas. And I'm pairing that with the wardrobe by me bomber jacket called Amelia. My next fabric is a little bit unusual because this is a pull fabric, P-U-L, which is a polyurethane laminate. It's a waterproof fabric, so you can see on the back, look, it's got that sort of waterproof coating you see on the inside of a raincoat. But the outside has a sort of fuzzy, smooth cotton finish, like a sort of sweatshirt finish. And I love that design. Again, really unisex. If you made kids' coats with these, that coral design and colour combination is really bright and colourful but great for boys or girls this one is 59 inches wide so it's very very wide so you you'll get um, a good cutting area for this one and it's got that coating on the inside so this would be suitable for the previous pattern that I just showed making a sort of waterproof bomber a summer jacket and I thought it would also work for a children's coat and the one that I've looked at here is the Poppy and Jazz uh, little hoodie it's called Honeydew and this one's made with quilting fabric and then a jersey on the inside but if you choose the right sizing because obviously you're not going to get the same uh, ease as you would with sweatshirt fabric but if you choose the right sizing this mixed with um, a jer thick jersey on the inside would make a really nice coat for a child you could use orange you could use blue you could use white on the inside actually white cuffs for a child's not a great idea is it but you line this full fabric with uh, a jersey so that you can get a little summer weight pram coat lastly i've got a couple of um bag holiday bag beach bag fabrics to show you so this is a cotton canvas this is a bit thicker than the last one 
that's why I've chosen it for bag making but it's um really nice it's got that sort of camper van beach vibe ride the wave sort of surf fabric this one's 55 inches wide it's good for aprons bags cushions in your van in your camper van or a beach bag a holiday hold all all of those would be great in this canvas you could try the go anywhere bag by noodle head it's quite a large size if you see it against the person in like a big under shoulder bag great for taking to the beach you can also make the outside in a plain fabric and then go for a lining on the inside and um, I saw this fabric which I thought would make a great bag lining so this is a, a cotton 100% cotton it's a light to medium weight but it would be perfect for lining a bag if you chose any of these colours on the outside and then have this as your lining on the inside so my last two picks are for bag making All the products that I've spoken about are listed below, so you can go and have a look at those in your own time, explore, see what people have made, take a look at those patterns and see which fabrics people have chosen, or take a look at the fabrics and see um, how people have used them, how they drape and what sort of projects they've made with them. Don't forget to join the Minerva Club to receive promotional offers throughout the year. We'd love to see what you've made. If you've made something with a maritime or seaside theme, we'd like to see that too.